Shit. Fuck. 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 <clears throat> Pro Austin C also asks, what do you think slash know about video game addiction? You may scoff, but students cool. all around me drop out of college and damage their lives due to seriously not being able to put the controller down. I've dealt with it as well. Mm. Still safer than meth, though. <laughs> I I don't I don't have much experience with somebody who is addicted to games. No. I mean, you know, that's that's just any you can uh, addiction. Like like I play anything, I, right? I, I you know I play a lot of games, but if I have to go to work, I'm gonna put down the controller and go to work. Yeah. Yeah, the I, I think these are people who, if video games didn't exist, would be addicted to something else. I, just, I can't even... I've never even met somebody like this, so... You've never met someone who just can't... Do anything but gaming? Who I would say is a gaming addict? No. Well, and here's why you've never met them. They're inside gaming. Is they're not outside meeting new people. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are the only other person I know, Jack, <laughs> who is into games. Who is a gamer? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's true. But I'm also not addicted to games, so I go out and do new things. <laughs> Which is why you know me. Uh, I, I I have known some people who have dropped out of my social circles, uh, who spend a lot of time gaming. Really? Not necessarily. Not saying that that's why, but what I can say is, as soon as we stopped seeing them, their gaming time because you know we're still like friends with them yeah. online went way up. And so like maybe a little gaming addiction, maybe a little social anxiety, maybe a bunch of things, but. I do know of some people, and like I said, these are people who would have been addicted to something else, because uh, addiction isn't about the thing, it's about the addiction, but uh, I, I, I'm not an expert in yeah. addiction, yeah. but All right. I think it can be a problem. Okay. A apparently, it's a big problem in, like, South Korea. Have, okay. you, have you heard those stories of, like, no. people who go to, like, gaming cafes and then don't leave oh, for, like, 30 yeah, hours? Yeah, actually, I have heard this. It's, like, World of Warcraft or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or like, Dota. And they, like, they have to be carted away in an ambulance because their <laughs> legs no longer work. And you're like, what the heck is wrong with you? There's the famous case, of the old famous one, the, the kid who had a heart attack playing Berserk in the arcade. What? This is a thing. That's, That's a thing? an urban legend. I don't know if it's actually true, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it it can be tough. It can be tough. I I think even even all of uh, beyond addiction, I I think we're going to have a uh, we're going to have a creative problem in a few years. You think? What do you mean? Not you and me. Okay. I I think there there will be a a generation that is lacking in some creative fields because there is too much now that can take up their time. There's so much television. There's so many video games. There's so many things to do. And, and, and those kids in the 50s are spending all their time playing, you know, marbles. They're not going to be able to do anything when they get older. They're just marbles, marbles, marbles. The, the, what, they had marbles and they had a hoop with uh, go, a stick? Going out the uh, hula hoop, bikes. I'm, I'm worried. Work's, work's not going to get done anymore and society's going to collapse. What, and that, that rock and roll music. Here's what I'm worried about right rock now. Rock and or roll. It's One, it's the devil's music <laughs> and you know that. Have you seen him shaking his hips? He's enticing those young ladies. Here's, okay. Here's, here's what I'm worried about. I think there is nothing more important to the creative mind than boredom. Okay. I think when you are bored as a creative person, it pushes you to do something exciting and weird and dumb, right? And I think we have reached a point where there is no, there's very little ways to be bored. There is so much to take up your time. There are so many things to take up your time. And then these kids aren't going to be bored, and so they're never going to do something dumb. Jack? Yeah. If we've created a society where we are never bored, yeah. and all of our needs are always met... Well, those are two different we've, things. We've just kind of won at that point. No, those are two different things. <laughs> you got to be bored, man. Being bored... It, okay, when people's needs aren't being met, yeah. they're going to need to go out and be creative. No, like, if your needs aren't... That's not true at all. Being bored and having your needs met are two very different things. 
Jack, you don't you don't think when they have to go get a nine to five job, they're not going to be bored during that job? They'll, they'll find a way to sneak a, some game plan in the job. <laughs> <laughs> You know they will. They'll sneak it in. Eh. I guess, you know, it's not like a huge concern of mine, but like it's it's something where like, w at least with, with like my own children, I do, I definitely like make sure to be like, you you just, no, no TV, no video games, no nothing. Just be bored and entertain yourselves for a little bit. And figure out, figure out how to just play with your toys. But that uh, that is very possibly just old man Jack ranting. So try not to read too much into that. Sometimes my old manness comes out more. That's fine. I don't I don't know that I agree with you. I'm I'm leaning towards old man Jack. But eh. all right. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take old man Jack. The kids nowadays. The kids rich. <laughs> <laughs> playing them video games. One, they're on my lawn. He says while well, he's playing video games. <laughs> those kids are just playing those video games all day. <laughs> my favorite line is, my favorite line is when I tell my kids they can't play video games while I'm currently playing a video game. <laughs> and they do. They point that out. I said, this is, this is for work. I'm working. Just when you say it's good to be the adult. It's good. I'm, I, I'm working here, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, they're like, can we do this for work? And I was like, yeah, sure, do it. And <laughs> then I won't hassle you none. As I'm here playing video games, yeah. What are you gonna do? Atomic Mouse Trap says, Fifth edition is the easiest edition of the game to learn, so you chose well. Great. Without having to teach you the game, three days is pretty good. I hope your family enjoys it. <clears throat> yeah, me too. Me too. I, I, I hope we get a kick out of it. I, I feel like at this point, like I said, I've been I've been like hardcore studying the books for like the past six days or so mm -hmm. watching youtube videos watching other people play campaigns just so it's like oh wait he just rolled a die there but he didn't tell me why he rolled a die but i definitely said like he rolled and that number meant something okay what does it mean when you know like <coughs> google like the situation and then i find like a reddit thread about like the specific rules oh okay that's that's why he rolled the die okay great um so i think i have a basic understanding of the rules uh and, uh, yeah, hopefully I don't fuck up too bad. How do we decide what game to stream? It's literally just, I don't know, you feel like anything? What do you feel like? Yeah. That's and, literally that. And if we have a strong feeling, you know, the other person says, eh, okay, or eh, maybe not. <clears throat> I don't think that's a good idea because... Right. Usually usually it's this, like uh, today I had, I had I want to say I, I, I brought Rich four options. Yeah. One got em eliminated immediately. I didn't even remember what it was, but I remember eliminating mm. it immediately. The, uh... <laughs> I, I got us a Labo. That wasn't the one that got eliminated immediately, was it? Yeah, yeah. Because No, be I was considering that. Oh, okay. The one... Let's, what, what did you suggest? It was, uh... It Ooh. was this... Oh, you know what? Uh, it was this, uh, Descenders. For the record, we didn't do Labo because... <laughs> We, we have to figure out how to stream that because the actual switch has to be in the cardboard and we need so we can't have you guys see what's on the switch because it's right. in cardboard and uh and so we actually need more cameras so that that wasn't me killing that i would have been fine with it honestly but it was it was a technical issue uh there was a game called descenders which is a downhill mountain biking game and i did admit freely that we probably wouldn't get very much 
Okay, I was thinking. That? I was thinking the next, not the next stream. I was thinking the next pre rec episode uh, options you gave me. Oh sure. The one I shot down. We already talked about it today. Hyrule Warriors. Oh yeah. <laughs> because I don't. I don't want to mindlessly play a fucking Dynasty Warriors game. <laughs> Unless you want to talk me into it, Jack. Unless you want to talk me into it. It seems like you really want to play that. Well, I, I guess what I'm saying is I'm going to play it no matter what. Uh-huh. So if we wanted to do an episode about it, that's just two birds, one stone. My, my only pitch for you is while on the surface, it does look like you are mindlessly mowing down enemies. And I suppose on a certain level, you are mindlessly mowing down enemies. There is a greater gameplay element in there. Mm -hmm. There's there's bases to free. There's people to help. There's there's branching storylines depending on which area you help first. There's weapon unlocks. There's move unlocks. There's leveling up. There's a lot to the Dynasty Warrior games besides just the mowing down of Sh enemies. Should we should we ask the chat what they want to see us do a review of next? Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors. Detroit becomes human. Detroit becomes human. Or battle tech. Battle tech. Right. Those are your three options, Chad. That's what I gave to Chad. Rich. Hey, Chad, that's what I gave to Rich. What would you like to see reviewed next? For, for a full sit-down review. For a full sit-down review. Trade Becomes Human, Hyrule Warriors, or, or Battletech. And obviously we need to do this in a more organized way. I'm seeing more Detroits than I'm comfortable with. A lot of Battletechs. Honestly, I think Battletech is winning, Jack. Well, I think they want to see you play that. That's yeah. true. And so they they know by doing an episode, you'll have to play it. We can do both. Fuck it. We could. What was that? No. Oh, all right. I'm seeing a lot more Detroit's. No, like, oh, but you, you already said Detroit is a good first four hours of. Oh, uh, yeah. So are we are we just taking that off the table? I think so, because I, I taking, all right. Battle Tech, your uh, Battle Tech or Hyrule Warriors? Yeah, because we'll do a first four hours of Detroit because I'm guessing we kind of already know what that game is going to be. Though I've never played a David Cage game, so I really don't know. Got that. We have Tarnus. Okay. So what are they? Th what are they thinking? Battle I, I Battletech. Think, I think Battletech is one. Honestly, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and get the, this shitty computer to open up the straw poll. Nope. Processing the straw poll. We've been opening the straw poll for the last like minute. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of how it works. Results. I assume this takes my life. So I don't want to do that. Shoot, sh please. Oh, God. Well, you have to vote. So obviously you're going to vote Battletech. Now it wants me to verify the thing that's not popping up on the stream. Oh, my God. The are you a human? Oh, wait. Is that? I hate this laptop. Someone in chat is just going to have to tell us. I Someone we trust. Who started the, the poll? Who started the straw poll? Was it Beefcake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. This is the world's worst laptop.
Dang it. One hit point. Fuck you. Oh, did I do it? Did it with one hit point left. Fuck you, game. Oh, yeah. It seems like Battletech is winning by about 60%. Okay. Yeah, we can do Battletech. All right. I'll play enough. I'll, I'll play it like I've played strategy games before. Like I said, uh, you're going to be doing the bulk of the speaking, and I'll play enough to, to we, go we, along with We you. could try a little Veej. How about we'll, we'll do a review of Battletech. We'll stream Hyrule Warriors first four hours of Detroit. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All Easy right. peasy, man. Easy fucking peasy. That's our, that's our, we got our three tier approach. I mean, we can also do Jack game versus Rich game. <laughs> <laughs> I like giving them, uh, they're each episode. All right. I like giving them All each right. their own episode, so. Uh, Sad Vega, it's a, it's a Windows 10 laptop. It's the uh, Lenovo Yoga. I believe uh, it's an older laptop, and it probably just needs a, a clean install at this point. Jack, the exact I, I am. I'm in charge of programming here. It's easy. It's it's an easy call. Hyrule Warriors is going to be a good streaming game. BattleTech, Rich will have a lot to say about because you are super into the strategy games. Uh, the uh, Detroit Becomes Human is a game that we can probably only stomach four hours of. So boom. We not reading tips tonight? I've ninety percent of this stream has been me reading tips. That's true. Ninety percent. Yeah, where have you been? I got to the boss. I mean, I could literally just read one after the other nonstop, but that would probably make for a shitty stream. Yeah. Wow. Pro Austin C says, constant pre rec viewers probably can list four to five games that Rich absolutely loves. Yeah. But Jack, I'm having trouble thinking of some of yours besides Isaac. What are some of your absolute favorites? Not just ones you generally enjoy, like Pokemon. Early Pokemons would be amongst my absolute favorite, by the way. Okay. Early Pokemons. Game Boy Game Boy Advance Pokemons. Those were those were my favorite. The earliest would be Game Boy Pokemon. Uh, right, and I'm saying the Game Boy Advance ones. Okay. Still early Pokemon would be uh would ab would be absolutely one of my favorite games. Um uh so you, Isaac, you know Spelunky mm -hmm. is an absolute favorite, hands down, no doubt. Um uh, Breath of the Wild would be up there. FTL? Eh, I like no? FTL. Okay, that's I, fine. I don't know, like... Maybe. I like FTL a lot, but maybe so. But not necessarily 100% my jam. Um, something I talk about a lot, I think I streamed it once ages ago. Metroid Prime is a game that I love super fucking hard. Uh, Bloodborne uh, is a game that I love beyond recognition. I'm trying to think of just like my go-to get Rocket League. Rocket every once in a while, still to this day, like yeah, I haven't in ages. Like oh, it's sometimes it's like oh, I got you know I got twenty minutes. I bet I could get in a match or two. I'm like ah oh, oh, and it feels so good. <laughs> feels so good. That's Rocket League is like comfort food. It's just I want one match every once in a while. Uh, Over Overwatch is... I haven't played Overwatch in a fairly long time, I'll be honest with you. Um, and, it, like, it's it's to the point now where there's so many cha gameplay changes in Overwatch. Like, I might take a longer break. I haven't had an opportunity to play okay. in, like, months. Okay. Um, hmm... What about older games, Jack? I like a lot of older Jack, games. Jack childhood games. That that's rough because I have a really poor memory. Yeah, I really do. Like legitimately, I don't remember much. Uh, Super Mario World, absolutely without a doubt. Yeah, 
all-time favorite, Super Mario World. Mega Man. I, I was never super into no? Mega Man. No? No. <sighs> I was more a Super Mario World. Uh, I was never crazy into Mega Man. Mega Man X. I, that, that wasn't... That I'm, just, wasn't, I'm just listening to some oh, mine right now. Right, right. <laughs> um... Uh, old old school games. I love you know what I loved on um what was it on the N sixty four and the GameCube were the Paper Mario games. Mm. Oh, I loved those games. Uh, there I mean there's just so you're what you're asking such a big question is like you know your all time bedrock games and there's just too many of them. We have named a bunch, so I think that's I think it's okay. some fine answer. Great. Yeah. Uh, you know what someone uh, someone asked me on Twitter earlier? What, what? You know what's probably a bedrock game of mine? Huh. Is Guitar Hero for the PlayStation 2. Not my jam. I know it's not your jam. There was a point in which anyone who ever came over to my house <laughs> was playing Guitar Hero. <laughs> because that's all that was happening was we were playing Guitar Hero. That was one of those situations where... Uh, like I was kind of hesitant on the idea of like, oh, this big guitar control and what you just play the guitar. And then I went to Best Buy and they had the display and you played it and you're like, I fucking am a rock star. I fell in love with it so hard. <laughs> guitar Hero. Absolute jam. Ooh, I learned a lot of, I earned a lot of gems that time. I'll buy some shit. What's this shield? Okay. Pro Austin, Pro Austin C says, last but not least, I should have been using this money in pizza rolls. What is your favorite console, and what console do you probably have the most hours on during your lifetime? My favorite is probably SNES, but I have most time on PS4, like 2,500 hours. Uh, PC... Uh, yeah, probably PC. I, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I mean... I'm, I'm a PC guy. I have been forever and a day. Yeah. E even with all my console time, I probably have more hours on the PC. Really? Probably. Huh. Huh. Mo mostly because of Team Fortress 2 <laughs> <laughs> and Overwatch. I mean, you know, once you start hitting that thousand hour mark right. on games, it's like, all right, yeah, definitely right. PC. Uh, so, co for console... Oh, God. How do you even quantify this? I'm an old man. Ma right. Maybe my GameCube? Eh, PS2. Maybe PS2. PS2 is a fine answer. You got your Grand Theft Autos. Yeah. A ton of other shit. Hey, that was my first Dynasty Warrior game. Maximo Games, heavily underrated, both on the PS2. It was like Dynasty Warriors 3 on the PS2, I think. That was my first. or One of the Dynasty Warrior games on the PS2. Good, uh, good Guitar Hero. Katamari Damacy, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, maybe PS2. You might be right. Console guys, guys always want a no PC answer. I don't know why. I don't know why the PC isn't legit, man. Yeah, I'll give that a try. What's new here? We got a lightning thing. It's not an exciting answer. Why? Why not? It, it's the console he has the most time in. It's it's the gaming machine he has the most time in. By far. Yeah. That's a fine answer. Rich, I think that's a fine answer. Don't let them tell. Don't let them tell you otherwise. That is a fine answer. Stacks enemies, but no. PCs have also changed a lot in 20 years. I'm saying PC isn't very descriptive. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have a universal platform that doesn't age out and go away. <laughs> I'm How sorry. awkward! I'm sorry. I'm still able to play 25-year-old PC games right now. <laughs> How awkward! <laughs> Eh. I don't 
care about any of these. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Rich, what? Where are we at? Uh, J.R.R. Lovecraft says, Rich, in Wayne's world, at Rob Lowe's apartment, Wayne says, in many ways, TNG is superior to, but will never be recognized as, the original. 25 plus years later, do you agree with that statement? I can't... Well, is is TNG as as recognizable to the general public as the original series? To the general public, probably not. Uh, probably at this point. You think so? Joe Schmo, who doesn't care about Star Trek. Uh, you think he's gonna know who William Riker is or who Doctor McCoy is? I think Joe Schmo is now uh, a younger demographic, so I would say that they probably know. They probably know like Chris Pine. Huh? Chris Pine. Well, they probably know, like, no, oh, not... yeah, I know that bald guy from the meme. That's not... I don't think it's the same thing. You're probably right about that, though. They know the bald <laughs> guy from the meme, yes. They know the bald guy from the yes, meme. Yes, you're right about that. And so... <laughs> that's the Star Trek they would know, right? <clears throat> when, when they rebooted Star Trek for the movies, they used Kirk, not Picard. That's true. So you're saying it will it, it, it hasn't overtaken the popularity of the original. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It was it was on longer, you know. It was on longer. I think more people saw it. Shit. 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 But when you say Star Trek, somebody who's not a Star Trek fan what do they think you just of? say the, the the name star trek what do they think of that's a good you know what that is that needs that needs a man on the street yeah that needs a that means the camera go like i i'm gonna i'm gonna say i'm gonna say a word you give me the first thing that comes to mind star trek Spro spock you think still spock? probably to me it's it's picard like when when i for you yes for, yeah, you oh, and, yeah. for you and for me like when when I say enterprise, I think of next gen. I still think of the the the, the freaking refit enterprise. Oh really? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that that is the most beautiful ship in all of science fiction. <laughs> the enter the refit enterprise slash enterprise A. Yeah. Hands down, the most beautiful ship in all of science fiction. But. Star Destroyer is the most beautiful, Chad. Chad, Chad, go home. You're drunk, Chad. The, the go the, home. You're drunk. The triangle. <laughs> the lumpy triangle. The. Tr there are way sexier <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fucking the Millennium Falcon is sexier than the Star Destroyer. <laughs> Give me a fucking X-wing. The X-wing is a, is sexier than the Star Destroyer. Come on, Chad. <laughs> there are sexier ships within Star Wars. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. N no. Oh, okay, sure. Stolen PV P PvP says you guys are amazing. I've got no question. Thank you. Great. Um, it's a mad, 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 mad Max says. Nice. Long time lurker, first time tipper slash sub. The Amazon black hole has finally pulled me past the event horizon. Thank you for all the years of entertainment. You're welcome. We got, a, we got an Amazon tip. Ah, the Amazon uh, Prime tip, something. sure. You did it. There's something like that, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I know you can you can subscribe with the Amazon Prime. 
But now I just sound like you shilling that. It's okay to <laughs> shill. It's okay to shill. You don't you don't want to over shill. I'm not. You know you got to It's a balancing act. Forever rich, but you know. When you do shill, you have to openly shill. Though. Absolutely. And I I don't think I I don't think I hide it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> Trinody 1597 says, Hey, Rich and Jack. Just wanted to say, I sent you guys something very special to your P.O. box. It's supposed to arrive tomorrow. You might need to go to the counter to pick it up. I don't think it'll fit in the mailbox. Oh, no. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't be the first, honestly. <laughs> oh, no. We get sent some weird shit, man. Every once in a while. Someone did say they were sending us something very nice. Someone someone emailed uh, and said, uh, and said, Hey, I'm a big fan of your show, and I make custom video game still shadow boxes. Okay. Like little pieces of art that are from video games. Yeah. Would you like any? And I said, well, sure. That looks awesome. They look great. And he's got a little Etsy store. Yeah. And I was like, I want that one and that one. He's like, okay, I'll send them. So that might be what he's talking about. Okay. Okay, good. Because they look cool. I think they'd look nice on the wall. I was waiting for him to charge you. <laughs> I, <laughs> by the way, I was waiting for him to charge me, too. <laughs> <laughs> they specifically said in the email, like, "Oh, I want, I want to send you some." I was gonna be like, "Oh, I want this one, this one." He's like, "All right, that'll be forty bucks, fifty-two dollars." Right, I was waiting for that too, but <laughs> nope. Just someone who makes something wants to share. What did I think of the discovery redesign of the original TOS Enterprise? I need to get a better look at it. I know, I know definitely in the lighting they were showing it in, it looked kind of bad. But that, that could have just been the ugly blue lighting. Always have to account for blue, for ugly lighting. It, it looks like they might have added too many fucking windows to it, but I, I really need to... Just get a really, honestly good look at it. Mm -hmm. Gosh dang it. Gobbly Gook says, Did either of you see the trailer for id slash Bethesda's Rage 2? What's your experience with Rage 1 from 2011? Beth uh. Bethesda jokingly said, with us and id, yes, it's a... I don't know if that's one long A or like the two triple A's together. It's a title. What other vehicular combat games do you like? How was Mad Max? It's a lot into one question. Uh, you know what I saw? Oh, here's what I saw. I saw the internet collectively shitting their pants over... Uh, over this Rage 2 thing, like shit in a good way, like oh my god, I'm so excited about Rage 2. I had never even heard of Rage. I'd heard of Rage One. Absolutely nobody was excited about it. Really? Including me. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what Rage One is. It's like Mad Max, but it's not Mad Max. Okay. And it's the first person, and you walk around and shoot things. You also drive around and oh. crash into things. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it on? It, what was it on? Uh, probably everything. You know, everything PS3, Xbox, probably the usual. Okay. I, I I have no recollection of Rage One, so um, but I I saw a lot of people were really excited about Rage Two. It was it was an id game that absolutely nobody was excited about when it came out. Okay, which is weird to me. Just because it it's from you id. Know, id. Yeah. Legend legendary id though at that point id wasn't quite id, the same id anymore. Oh okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Everyone's going crazy over Rage 2, but I don't know anyone that even liked Rage 1. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I I didn't know Rage 1 was a thing that existed, and then all of a sudden they're like, it's happening. Yeah. It's happening. And what, What's happening? And I like the Mad Max game, but if I'm being perfectly fucking honest, if you if you take the license out of it, I'm, I'm, not, sure I, I'm not sure I give that much of a fuck about it. Ah, If sure. I'm being, you know, just totally honest. You are. Yeah. I'm asking you to be. Well, I like that ice spear. 
Like that ice spear, people. Edo Kendo wants to know how deep we've gone into Bloodborne's Chalice Dungeons. Would you stream them? I might stream them at some point. I don't think I've gotten that deep. Yeah, like I, I don't. I don't think I've gotten more than. I don't think I've gotten more than halfway through them. Yeah, probably not. I, I've gotten relatively deep. I, I, I guess I don't know what the average is. I, I felt like I spent a lot of time in them. Yeah. And also that they didn't do anything great for me. Yeah, you can find neat things. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't understand the purpose of the chalice, chalice dungeons. Well, you find the really nice things when you get really deep. Is the thing. Oh, sure. So I just I, it's you didn't get deep I, enough. I didn't get deep enough. Yeah. I know enough about it to know there are good rewards. Sure. Eventually, you start getting some mighty powerful gems. Okay. Blood gems. And different versions of, like, the normal weapons that have different shape slots that you can put different types of gems in. There's, there's rewards. Sure, sure. What? Yeah, I, I, so I guess I didn't get far <laughs> enough to understand why they were a good thing, if that gives you any idea of how far I got into them. Okay. Valiant Bloodshot says, hey guys, have you watched Cobra Kai yet? It was better than it deserves to be. I binged the whole season in one sitting. Also, Rich, have you ever played Bullets? Oh, Bullet Storm? I picked up the remastered version and fell in love with it. I have not played Bullet Storm. I think I've heard good things about Bullet Storm, right? That's, it's, it's supposed to be like a crazy, um, almost like a Dishonored type yeah. combat. I think. All right. All right. I think, in, uh, unless the chat is about to prove me wrong. I, I have watched all of Cobra Kai, and I, I like it quite a bit. We, we talked about it earlier. We had a whole whole discussion about the whole Cobra thing. Kai. Whole thing about The whole it. thing. Bad Gamer Korean says, Jack, if your family eventually find themselves liking D&D, &D, would you give 40k a try sometime in the future? Nope. There's something about non-digital games that make them great. If Rich still has the mini 4Ks I sent him years ago, <laughs> show them to your kids. Uh, you know, I just don't know. I've got them somewhere. Is that why is that here? Um, I I don't know. You know, like someone I, I was, I was kind of sharing my uh, my uh, D and D with uh with with Twitter, and people were like, why you know why are you doing D and D? There's you know there's these other uh, tabletop RPGs that are so much better, and it's just like you know what, I gotta start somewhere, man. Yeah. And maybe I'll fall in love with D&D and want to branch out more into the tabletop role-playing arena. Or maybe it'll fizzle out. I, I, I don't know, man. Baby steps, Jack. Baby steps. Ba exactly. I'm taking, I'm taking it easy here. A shop is over here. Yes, and a potion. Yes, thank you. Gobble the Gook says the Nintendo Switch eShop currently has bad dudes on sale from $7.99. Oh, that's too much. Down from, wait, I'm getting ads that are covering up. What's bad in? dudes? Bad dudes. Uh, like like a, a Double Dragons game. Oh, okay. Bad dude. Maybe two bucks. I think they charge too much for some of the eShop 30 year old games. Uh, where, where did we go now? After I got cut off. Uh, okay, uh, currently has bad dudes on sale from $7.99 down to $7.19. Ooh. 
Download it now and see why Steve Martin said in the movie Parenthood, they're bad dudes. That's why they call the game Bad Dudes. I think I'm good. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's a bit much for Bad Dudes for me. Gosh, dang it. Kapanalol says, Jack, what did you think of the story to Horizon Zero Dawn? I actually found it very good and gave a shit, which is rare since most video game stories are bad. I'd ask Rich's opinion, but I don't think he ever finished it. I absolutely love the game. Once again, I did look up spoilers. <laughs> I thought it was fine. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Actually, you know what? I didn't finish the game uh, when we did the review. Yeah. I couldn't get that far. Like, yeah. I, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big game. But that is one that I, after the review, I absolutely went back, finished the story, did all the side missions I wanted to do, and really enjoyed it. I thought it was, I mean, it was fairly predictable. Yeah. Relatively speaking. But I, uh, I, I enjoyed the story overall of Horizon Zero Dawn. And... Uh, that's a game I liked. You, I mean, you guys know that I liked Horizon Zero Dawn, but I felt really satisfied at the ending. You know, you, you, you get that that cutscene at the end. Uh, that's something you talk about a lot of, like the earned cutscene. Like, hey, I beat the game. Give me, a, give me a little movie. <laughs> right. And I don't really feel that very often in games, but but here was a point where I, I did, I didn't want to play this. Like, I was done. Yeah. Just show me the end. Ah, okay. That was. <laughs> That was one of those rare times when I, I just wanted to sit back and enjoy the ending. All right. So. Soul Tornado says, what are your thoughts on Kevin Sorbo and Hercules' The Legendary Journeys? Could something similar be done today? Well, uh, if you want just something that's a schlocky action show, uh, couldn't you count Ash vs. Evil Dead? That was done today. There's, there's schlocky action shows already. Like, like, um... Heck, that's half of the CW lineup right now is schlocky action shows. They just have superheroes no, instead of Nobody's Hercules. agreeing with me on that. I see three no's, so I don't think they agree with me on that. On Ash vs. Evil Dead being a schlocky action show? Yeah. Maybe y'all don't know what schlock is. I don't know that anybody likes Kevin Sorbo, though. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I, I we, t we just talked about this a, uh, like a stream or two ago. I have really fond memories of watching both Hercules and Xena Warrior Princess. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Kevin Sorbo's a huge dickhead now. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't sour me on how much I loved Hercules okay. and Xena. That's fair. Uh, but I also still think these shows exist. 100%. Schlocky action shows. What, what What's currently on today that you would compare to Hercules' The Legendary Journeys? That's on today. That's on today. That's on currently, right now. So you can't even say Ash vs. Evil Dead because they just canceled oh, it. Oh, it's true. Uh, would we count something like Flash? Like, like you know, a little bit of action, a little bit of superhero stuff, but mostly is just... It, is it hokey enough? Is it hokey? And it's fairly hokey. It's okay. Fair, I'm, not wondering, I'm, hokey. I'm asking you because I've not watched The Flash. I'm not... If you say it is, I have to take your word for it. I have not watched The Flash. As hokey as Hercules? Probably not. Because... Okay. That was super tongue in cheek, but I think if you look at stuff like Flash and Supergirl, who don't take themselves very seriously, yeah, you'd have con decent contenders. Okay, decent contenders. Yeah, or Legends of Tomorrow. Any of those CW schlock shows, you'd probably have decent contenders. Fuck right up. What do we think of the Ash vs. Evil Dead ending? I haven't seen Season 3 yet. I was waiting to binge it. And based on what you're saying, I'm guessing it's finally all been aired. So it's something I, it's on my, I gotta get around to it. Nice. Nice. 
coin. I got some coin. What do you got? Serves. What are you? What did you do? Did you hurt me? I don't know. What did you do? You did hurt me, but you had a chance to poison foes. Eh. Eh. Poo poo pee pee dad said, Hey, Rich. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Speaking of enterprises, have you ever checked out Andrew Probert's Enterprise C concept renderings? He designed a concept Enterprise C for the show, but it wasn't used. He has since had a full CG model made. Probert is the designer of the refit and the D, by the way. Yeah, I, I know that much about him. I heard he had a design for the C. I think I saw it ages ago, but I don't really remember what it looked like. So, I, I, I can't give you the kind of feedback you like or want on that. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I, I, I pronounce it Probert. P-R-O-B-E-R-T. Probert. That's the the boss who. He's laughing at you. Laughing at me. Oh, well, you know, he earned it. Uh, I feel like I'm doing better. I'm now getting to that first boss more. <laughs> uh... So this is a roguelike. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's roguelike. You you unlock different spells that you can use in combination of each other and uh, different map layouts every time. So I, I, I feel like I'm getting there. That oh, that boss is fucking tough though. That was that might have been just a little too tough for me. Wind flurry. Let's see what you are. And fire. I don't want any fire wall. Tidal blast. Sure. I feel like I need water. I need water uh, spells because I'm in a fire level. You know. I don't know if that works. I'm facing a fire boss. Do you think water will have an advantage over the fire boss? Uh, probably. Typically, it would. Typically, it would, but I don't know if that's one of these games or if this is just the fire boss, you know. Can anyone recommend a game that makes you feel like a badass similar to Doom? I don't know that there's anything that makes you feel quite as badass as Doom does. That's, that's the epitome of feeling like a badass. Doom's kind of a... Spe like... <laughs> You know, because you can look at games like God of War, which has a very good combat system and does make you feel like a badass. The yeah. new God of War. I love the combat. Love the combat system. Remember, everyone. I love it. Uh, you have games for me like Dynasty Warriors, which, though they're hack and slashy, you are the big, strong person and you mow down everyone. But Doom... Doom has that saddest... Like, that difficulty balance just down and and how many games do the bad guys write a bible about how terrified you make them <laughs> right <laughs> when are the enemies so afraid of you that they make a religion out of it <laughs> <laughs> like, they're so afraid of you. Like, get, do it makes you feel like a badass, yeah. not only in the gameplay, but also just in the lore. They they <laughs> they carve tales about you in stone <laughs> to make sure no one forgets that you will wreck them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I agree. You know, I'm I'm seeing like Bloodborne and Metroid Prime, and that's you know, Blood Bloodborne it, it can be very satisfying when you win, but it's all both both of those games actually have very similar tones, which is just it's all about kind of despair and loneliness and exploration. Like th those games do not make you feel like a badass; they make you feel sad. Doom Doom is like a horror game where you are the monster. Yeah, Doom. What I like about Doom is it, it flips the script. Mm -hmm. Doom. You're alone on a base on Mars. Everyone else is dead, and the base is filled with demons. Like, the script there, it's very obvious. You know, where you are fucked. You are absolutely fucked. 
But but Doom lets you turn the tables. It's nah, fuck that. They're trapped in here with me. <laughs> the demons should be afraid of me! Oh. And they are. I'm gonna kill all the fucking demons! It's very it's very pleasant. You know it is. My <laughs> grits. Just, I, I just agree, Rick. It's like aliens, if all of the aliens were running away from Ripley. <laughs> Maybe a less exciting movie, but... <laughs> Something we said for it. Well, it's, it'd be like an alien game where you play as the alien, and you are you are the monster. You hunt and stalk the humans. It, kind of like when you play Friday the 13th and you're Jason. Yeah, He's like, yeah. you, oh, I, oh, I'm in charge here. <laughs> I'm the boss, and it's bedtime. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. So there's, there's other games where you kick ass, but it's not the same. It's just not the it's same. It's not the same. I like that spear. I like that ice spear. Uh, we're going to go a little more ice heavy with my build this time. Ice and lightning, and we're going to see if we can do... Oh, but now I get the tree guy first. Oh, well, ice ice should be powerful against tree dudes, maybe? Got lightning, too, this time. We'll see if that does me any good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm getting it. I'm understanding. Yes, you feel like a badass in the Arkham games. Just not to the gr degree you feel like a badass playing Doom. I don't know. Like, yeah, and I don't, I don't know like if you're supposed to ever feel like a badass as Batman. You're, you know, you're kind of... Batman is above being a badass. Batman's all about efficiency. Right. And sometimes efficiency just means being a badass. But. Right, right. But he never wants to... Like, Batman could never say he's a badass. So right. you you can never feel... When you are when you are Batman, you can never feel like a badass because there's business to be done. Yes. Yeah. It's all about the business. I gotta do this. <laughs> You yourself said the Arkham games make you feel like a badass. You frauds. Look, I'm not saying it doesn't make you, I'm saying it's not comparable to how much of a badass you feel like when you play Doom. Here's how much of a badass I feel like when I'm playing Batman. Here's how much of a badass I feel like when I'm playing Doom. Mm -hmm. Here's how much of a badass I feel like when I'm playing Stardew Valley. It's somewhere, <laughs> all the, it's all the way down there. <laughs> It's down there with Tetris and Mario. Right. <laughs> Stardew Valley. Get out of town. That's great. That's great. Dim guy would never say he's a badass either. He does it with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, oh yeah, no. <laughs> First of all, yes. No, and I'm not talking about physically saying you're a badass. I'm talking about your feeling when you're playing. Yes. I, when you are when you are the Doom Slayer, I am sure that the Doom Slayer is smiling while ripping <laughs> demons apart. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know what? I can't. I can't deny that. Yeah. I think that the Doom Slayer gets a certain amount of joy out of ripping a demon's heart out. And I just don't think Batman has... Like, when I'm Batman, I'm I'm cold and I'm calculated and I'm doing the Batman thing. But so there, so there, there's different... There's just different feelings, you know? God, 
Gosh dang it. I was having, like, up until a room ago, I was having a really good run. And, uh, and now I'm not. I'm sorry. That's the end of my story. It's a good story. <clears throat> Fuck, why? Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Zack of the Axis says, I'm going to be in Milwaukee this weekend for work. Do you guys have any recommendations from where I should go for dinner? Thanks. What you got, Jack? Oh, I mean, uh, there are one million and one places, man. Where? where... Name one. Name uh, one. Vanguard. Vanguard? El Fuego. Ah, there's better Mexican places. Yeah, right, right. There's... <laughs> El Fuego's not bad. Uh, but there's Botanas, um, which is uh, in the uh, Walker's Point area. Botanas is a great Mexican restaurant. There it, is, all right, uh, the weather's beautiful. Does yeah. it have that nice outdoor eating area? It does. It does? Botanas is great. All right. Botanas is good Mexican. Uh, uh, there is uh, – oh, well, there's a place on KK that's like hipster Mexican that's really good too. Oh, what are they called? I mean, El, El, and El Fuego is not bad, but like El, El, El Fuego almost uh, almost feels chain restauranty to me. Five guys, like you, you, you list literally the most overrated burger joint. Also, a chain burger joint. Uh, so no, Va like Vanguard is homemade sausages, and you will not regret it. And a, and a beer list that will blow you away, and all of their sausages are amazing. Uh, Vanguard's the place to go. Uh, if if you want, you know, pizza, there's classic slice or transfer pizza. If you want like like a, a giant slice, you go to classic slice. If you want the pizza where they are, are like made the dough fresh and it has like the weird bubbles because you know it's imperfect and delicious, you go to transfer. Bubbles? I don't want bubbles in my pizza. You're doing it wrong. Then. I don't care if it's a hand toss. If it's got bubbles in it, it's a bad pizza. I incorrect. You are you are incorrect about your your pizza. Um, you know you want a, a good cup of soup and a sandwich with some homemade chips. You go to Lulu's, a uh, cafe Lulu. De Marini's pizza is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. De Marini's not bad. There's there, there's there's uh, so many things to eat. Here in the city. So. You just have. You have so much man. Rock Bottom. That's the place I'm thinking of. They had great fancy macaroni. Rock Bottom Brewery? Yeah. That's yeah. the place I'm thinking of. They have they have decent food at Rock over at Rock Bottom. There's a million places. With, with amazing food. You go to. um. There's a, there's a place called. The Crafty Cow. That makes, uh, if you're ready for this, a bone marrow butter burger, mm -hmm. which is this giant burger patty that they cook with bone marrow butter. And it it's it's not a place it's not a place you want to go to take a date to because your face will be covered in grease. But it is a delicious burger. Uh, Chat. They did not close. I was at De Marini's today. There might be more than one location, and one of them closed, but I was literally there today. Ah, okay. Uh, there, there's, there's just, there's restaurant after restaurant after restaurant. Like, what kind of experience are you looking for? We have a, we have a, a restaurant uh, that that doesn't have a, a, a regular menu. You want to get crazy with it? You go to, uh, oh fuck, what's it called? Give me one moment, please. There's a restaurant in town that changes their menu every single day depending on what food they can buy at the farmer's market. And then they just cook shit. And it's different every day, and it's great. Uh, right? I have to remember what the fucking place is called, though. Before I can recommend it to you. I should know the name of it. That's like, that's, that's just etiquette. It is called, I'm going to find it. 
It is called Lazy Susan. Lazy Susan is a, is a restaurant in town. Jack, you're killing me. I'm sorry. No, and you know what? Uh, I'm I'm 100% on diet right now. And uh, so that just means I'm really hungry all the time, too. <laughs> and so I'm just, uh, my mouth is watering, and I'm thinking about all the delicious food that's all around us all the time. Uh, you can go to Honey Pie. Uh, they make great cupcakes. They have great food. <laughs> just gonna keep talking about different food places for the next five hours. I I live in a I live here's here's the thing. Uh, I live in a part of town that is the restaurant district. Yeah. And so I have a million good restaurants uh, all around me. And uh, so that's it. Okay. A A D T Q K A. Yeah. Which sounds like an old id cheat code. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. it says, hey guys, Hi. love the last nerd crew. I was wondering if y'all seen the Phantasm movie series, and if so, what are your thoughts? For the most part, I liked it, but was a little let down with the final movie. I saw one or two of them like 30 years ago. Oh. Uh -huh. I just know there's a silver ball with, with sharp things. That's all I know. Yeah, and I know. And a I creepy old less. guy. I know even less, Rich. Okay. So. Sorry. Valiant Bloodshot says, How do I gift you guys a game? I'd like to send you Bulletstorm. Rich would love it. It's all about trick shots and unique kills. The power drill that you get fires drills that impale guys to walls and shoot them into the sky. That's my favorite gun. I might have it. They want to send it to me, though. Do you have it? I don't think so. Hold on, are your games on here too, or have you just my games? Oh, these are just my games. No, I. Uh, you can, you can, uh, if you want to gift it to Rich. Um, you can uh, use our email prereq at redlettermedia dot com. When you gift a game, you can just choose to send it via email. Okay. Uh, and then I will forward that to Rich so he can uh, get it. And then we're caught up. And I'm assuming you are done. I am done. Mm -hmm. I'm at a good place. Uh, I feel like I understand the game. Uh, I feel like I'm ready. Oh, it looks like if we don't keep up with these, it looks like it's, it scrolls out. Tips? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll have to. That That's incentive to keep up with them. I suppose. You know, we always can't always do that. No. Uh, there, there's another thing that we can do, I think. So okay. I'll, I'll look into that. Okay. I will look into that. All right. Yeah, great. Uh, so this is the point of the stream in which we thank all of the people who have subscribed to us during this very stream. Much like Sagan1220 for 40 motherfucking months in a row. Who says thanks, guys? You're welcome. Bulking Barrel! Tardcore for 14 months in a row who says how's D&D &D with the family going hopefully you heard my uh, my excitement this whole spiel uh, for, the, for the whole spiel we uh, I finished writing it tomorrow it, this is by the way by the way this is a spoiler for you guys because you're not playing the game yeah, yeah. this is just part one <gasps> oh of my an god epic adventure. So, so, so they get this mystery scroll that gives them the location of this hidden gem, right? And they, ooh, this gem that's got to be worth a lot of money. So they go, they get the gem. Like, that's just one. Then the gem's going to have some some strange writing on it, right? Like, oh, we can't read this writing. So then they, they're going to have to go back to their boss, the, the treasure hunting boss. And he goes, oh, he's, he's going to be Don Wilson. You know, oh, this is... <laughs> He's like, oh, I know this language. This is Elvish. I, I can speak Elvish. And he's, it's, it's going to have some some sort of like, uh, you know, when I meet with the moon, or the full moonlight, the age of the skeletons begins. And it's just going to happen to be midnight on a full moon night. And then the skeletons are going to rise and they're going to have a whole other quest where they have to fight this, this, the king of the skeletons <laughs> after they get out of the cave. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> I'm writing a backstory for a cult that worships skeletons. <laughs> so you don't 
you don't play as a character, but it seems like you get to have your own fun by just creating this shit. Is that how the DM role works? Yeah, well, and I, I play all of the NPCs. Okay. And so, like, if they talk to anyone, all the bad guys I play. That's and, all you. And and I write it. Yeah, I yeah, write the yeah. world. So so there's there's I think there's a lot of fun to be had as the DM. You, you have fun with your family, Jack. <laughs> You have fun. Listen, Rich, if this turns into a thing I end up loving, I'm, I'm ro- roping you in. You know that, right? <laughs> I know. I know you're probably going to do that. Okay, yeah. great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Storm Templar, who says, guys, don't break up. We saw what a solo show would look like in the last <laughs> nerd crew. Oh, <Aww. sighs> it's so true. It's <laughs> Observatron 9000 for 19 months in a row. It's it's always better to have someone to talk to. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is Joe Flacco Elite, who says graduated from college this Saturday. Oh, excuse me. Now I have all the time in the world to watch Prereq. Woo! Suggest 22! Microfiber Militia for 43 motherfucking months in a row. Who says forever and ever and ever and ever. Kane Hound Christ for 12 months in a row. Says one year feels like just yesterday. Pet Biscuit for me. Will do. What What's Biscuit going to be playing as? <laughs> Uh, the one who wants to get up on the table and wreck our Lego sets. Yeah. It's the monster. Yeah. So not the jungle cat. I, I I don't have I don't have it in my depths to like role play as the cat too. I can't okay. do that. That's not okay. it for me. He's gonna be the cat that's annoyed that we're not petting him <laughs> while we're having fun playing D and D. Chuck Chuck Fox for fourteen months in a row who says hey. Maybe we can get some. Maybe we can get together sometime and compare our figurines. All right, Dirk Gentlier for 19 months in a row says, "Rich finally checked out your, finally checked. Oh, Rich finally checked out your table and the latest Nerd Crew. Great job. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. That's that's one of your proud builds. Yeah, is the nerd I crew built that table. table, the Nerd Crew table. It's a nice table. I know it's great. It's curved." It's curved, but no one notices it. I built it. a curved table out of straight wood. I was very proud of myself. <laughs> uh, Farktoid. Kaleidoscopic 20 for 13 months in a row. This says, Westworld Season 2 is fucking amazing. It also, is. Also, what is the newest news for Back to the Future 4? You don't watch Westworld, right? No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, Maybe I should. It's good, man. All right. It's real good. And yeah, season two is is still real good. <clears throat> uh, we are at Future Prez JRB. Justin R. Ho- <laughs> Justin Horman for 48. I think I think what we do, Rich. Oh, this is all you. you I, this I, is you. Here's my big plan. Justin Horman... For 48 goddamn motherfucking months in a row. I think we just add more swears. That's it? Yeah, I didn't say it was big. I just said I had a plan. You built it up. I mean, if it's just going to be... You built it up. It's just going to be adding a word. Yeah, I think we add goddamn to it. You don't... You don't... You don't say, I... Well, just you wait. No, it's going to be... Oh, well, we'll we'll see. You just say, I will add a word to it. I think it's... I think it was my earliest suggestions, and you shot it down. Saying, that's not... That's not enough. I certainly And then we, did we not. get here, first person for four fucking years. I and certainly. And all you got not. is you had a goddamn. That's not even as exciting as motherfucking. That's a step down. Now it's just too much. I certainly did not knock that down. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's ruined. <laughs> Justin Orman says. You don't think goddamn motherfucking is good? No. It's not, it's not, well, what would you, instead of goddamn, what would you do? I told you, I would just reset it all as incentive to keep going to get back to motherfucking Jack. I think I think we have to we have to keep adding. <laughs> I think we have to keep adding until it gets ridiculous. Chad, how do we feel about goddamn? Goddamn motherfucking. And then the next one is, is uh, what goes before goddamn? I have no idea. 
We just keep adding. Sh- you know what? You know what goes before goddamn shitty. Shit. They're gonna, they're gonna take a clip of this whole segment, Jack, and they're gonna paste it into the dictionary.com under underwhelming. This whole moment, underwhelming. You just Give asked me a me, clip of this. You asked me if I had a plan. I said I got a plan. <laughs> I said and like I didn't. I, I was like I got a plan. <laughs> you have built this up in your own mind like it was a grand. I just had a plan. <laughs> Justin Horman says, I just stopped by to say, have a great rest of the week, everybody. Also, I was curious on my number. Oh, there, you <laughs> oh, there you go. I think God, I think God, God damn's the way to go. I think, uh, unless you can think of a better one to go in front of mother. No, no, we're, no it's goddamn now. We're stuck with it. God damn it. Binky Y says, keep up the good work, boys. Loved the matching tie and suit, Rich. Thank you. Thank you. Give me yours, too, at Kohl's. <laughs> Kohl's special. Estegray! Almost Sun Tzu says, hey, guys. Y'all rock. Uh, apropos of nothing, I have either of you read The Gulag Archipelago. There's no way I could have by a Solzenheism. I'm taking a break from it to listen to you. Holy shit, it's some heavy stuff. Makes you appreciate life. Check it out if you're ever feeling down. It doesn't sound like something I'd want to read if I'm feeling down. Like, I'm already <laughs> hip deep in a book that makes me feel like shit, and so I don't know if I want to add another book that makes me feel like other people are shit. Books you could read that don't make you feel like shit. Yeah, but sometimes I want I want some I want some right. knowledge in my life. All right. I want to get woke, yo. Trodno three one one. Adamant Adam. Majikun. Hmm. Chicken McButtocks for twenty fucking months in a row. Says what a couple of hack frauds. Babe. Uh, Baba Yaga Lala for 29 fucking months in a row. Says heart emoji. Thank you. Tiberius Kirk for 32 fucking months in a row. Who says, hey, I haven't been around much the last few weeks. Isn't that fun? (laughs) (laughs) I I suppose. (laughs) Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Odd tricks for 12 months in a row. Says 12 months. Woo. Breen is gone for 12 months in a row. Who says, yay, 12 months. Pizza rolls for all. Pizza roll for all. Shmojoba? Shmoyaha. Shmioha? Shmioha. Yeah, I like that. Shmioha was what we're going with? Shmioha. All right. Yeah. To foot. Telegon for 45 motherfucking months in a row. G- in a few short months, it'll be the very underwhelming goddamn motherfucking months in a row. You know, you know something about me, Rich? <laughs> Here, here's a little tidbit into, into me. I'm very good at making decisions. <laughs> That's not to say I'm good at making good decisions. I just like if you need a decision made, I will make a call and go with it. They don't always work out, but I'm I'm your guy. Like you just need a call made, I'm your guy. I'll make the call. Whether it's the right one or not, you never know. But I'm there to make the call. Uh, G Kel eighty seven. I guess it's you know, like graduating high school. Four years, you know, four years sub. You graduate. And- mm-hmm. Guess what? The real world sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very, real, real world. Uh, nothing in high school prepared you for the, this. The, the good times have ended. That's true. That's true. Astro Blavak. Clinically depressed ape for 12 months in a row. My moose is loose. Dream sign for 27 fucking months in a row. Says, I hope you enjoy spending your monthly Bezos bucks as much as I enjoy giving them to you. 
We yes. do. We we love it that every month you resubscribe using your free Amazon Prime subscription, which you get to do if you're an Amazon Prime member. Doesn't cost you any money. Gives us some bucks. Oh, Jack. Jack, that's... God damn, that's lame. God. No, that was, an, uh, that was an underwhelming. Speaking of God damn, if you're subscribed for four years, you get the very underwhelming God damn added to your shout out. <laughs> but if you go five years, <laughs> then we're going to add another thing. Lucas Dukas for 31 fucking months in a row. Digger Blue for 20 fucking months in a row. It says 20 months. You know what I'm saying? 20 months. I do. Striker 1121 for 30. Six motherfucking months in a row. Oh, well, three years is so much better than four years. <laughs> But wait till it's we, so much better. Just wait till we get it's to five. so much you gotta, better. You know, you gotta have a breather year, a breather year before we get to five. Uh, Striker <laughs> says, "I've wasted my life." Thank you for that. <laughs> my my am I being too hard on you, Jack? Oh, I think it's funny. It's it is funny. okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> You're going with the bit, Rich, and we're getting laughs, so go with it. We're laughing. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe they're watching this saying Rich Evans is a horrible monster. Oh, well, you're just a big meanie head. I know, I know. If I thought it mattered, I might feel bad, but I'm okay. sure it's fine. Okay, If Because be, we can always change it. I just no, want to be sure. None of the, uh, by the way, chat, Chad, if you will, none of these rules are set in stone. Like, we can change them anytime we want. So if we think of something better to do, we'll do it. But we probably won't. Uh, was it Solhid? Solhid? Solhide? Solhide, sure. Solhide! It says, the prereq doesn't even exist. SMH. I don't know what that means. Okay. Zenost! Uh, the ogre from Shrek! <laughs> Zom, or Zonebee. P. Dills! It says, Jack's talking about art. And again, he's wrong about literally everything. Can't be wrong about art, yo. Bryson, 1979. Doyle, 871. Says, how much to bribe Jay to come back? $9,000. Cash. Mail it to the P.O. Box. Blavad for 20 fucking months in a row. Edgar Allen Hopo for 22 fucking months in a row. Darkwing Schmuck for 13 months in a row, who says, here's to one year since I realized Amazon let me sub for free. And if anyone is curious as to how awful Roller Gator is, spoiler, pretty fucking awful, it's often shown on the Riff Tracks Twitch channel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. William Thomas Edlund Dust for 12 months in a row says... I was driving cross country, and while bored, my wife asked, "If you had to be an animal, what would you be?" Thanks to Prereq, I already knew the best answer. LOL, anamorph my human animal. <laughs> <laughs> Mister Shieldsy, Doctor Strong Esquire says, "Whoopee! Nine months. What an achievement! Cheers for the good times, fellas. Let's hope for at least mediocre in the future." Uh, that's all we can hope for. Adequacy. Question number 16. Stupocalypse. Titus, 84, for 20 fucking months in a row. Alpaca Death Trap for 15 months in a row says, I graduate on Saturday. Thank you guys for giving me a break from all the stress of college slash hospital rotations. Dr. Alpaca Death Trap? Or nurse alpaca death trap. Either way, thank you for your service. You might be, you know, looking at a body part of ours later. So you know, you got to thank them. They're oh, they're a doctor, a nurse. You yeah, 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 I got you it. Know. I got it. But if you are alpaca death trap, tell us <laughs> tell us before you look at a body part of ours because that might be weird. It's a little bit creepy. That's what I'm saying. It's a little bit creepy. 
Joe Bag of Donuts, who says, Glass of scotch and your banter make for a great Wednesday night. Keep up the good work, fellas. Welcome. Will do. Randolph the Rad, who says, Rich, thank you for building my house. How is it being powered? It's called an Argent Reactor. Energy stored from the he demonic evasion in progress. Whoops! <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's cute. I yeah. get it. I don't know that you got it when you were reading it. I didn't get it, like, not until I got to okay. Demonic Invasion in progress. <clears throat> like, Argent Reactor, I was like, what is that? I, uh, is that a Star Trek Argent thing? Argent Energy or right. something or something. I thought it was a Star Trek thing, so then I was like, oh, but okay. then, then when Demonic Invasion in progress happened, I get it. I get it. Bradle 23. Xbox Nuisance. Clado 1 for 16 months in a row. Land Cow. It's a Mad 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 Max. J.R.R. Lovecraft for 16 months in a row who says, Next time you're in Houston, let me know I'm in the phone book under L. Okay. Development Hack says, Thanks for all the fun. You're welcome. Sorin Mask. The AC for 16 months in a row says, Hi. Hi. Domine 3. Domine 3. Manny the Varaking. Gapely. Inca Z 99 for 21 fucking months in a row. Says, woo! 21 months. Hi, fellas. Hi. Hello. CC Buddy Rider. Jab. Jabonbon? <laughs> I think it's Jabonbon. Uh, you are correct. It is Jabonbon. Slicer Gang. Chernobyl Kinsman for. 37 motherfucking months in a row. And notice how much that smoother that rolls off the tongue than goddamn motherfucking months in a row. Well, I, in, in my head, that's part of the joke is as <laughs> they go on in years, it becomes more and more cumbersome for us to do that. Mr. Love the Ants! Or Mr. I Love the Ants! You, you forgot Chernobyl Kinsman. This is Amazon Prime Bitches. <laughs> That was just me air horning Amazon Prime. Is that a I reference? To something? No, but that just sounds like part of a rap song, like Amazon Prime bitches. Bah, bah, bah. In that, like that sounds like something a DJ would say at a set. Don't you think? You think I know what a DJ would say at a set? Do I look like someone who would know what a DJ would say at a set? Just, you know, it's like, it's just, <laughs> like, it, the kids are super into it, so it, f it felt right. If the air horn felt right. <laughs> Mr. I Love the Ants, who says, today is my birthday, and I'm spending it with you guys. <laughs> Happy birthday. Ants. Happy birthday, Ants. Pace, 180. Jordana for 15 months in a row says this was funny. And then there's a link to a straw poll that we can't see right now, but thank you. We'll cut. We'll copy it and look at it later. Copy. I just copied it. Okay. Mr. Peachy. Silly putty. MC Lucas for 47 motherfucking months in a row. One more month before that's marred forever. Run trip fall. Shagahad, 1897 for 15 months in a row. Who says, hey guys, 15 months flies by so fast. Are you excited for RDR2? Oh, uh, I thought you were going to say R2D2. Excited for r 2 Absolutely not. But RDR2, sure. Sure, I need to actually see gameplay footage. The only Wait, thing, Red Dead our, Redemption 2. There we go. Thank the you. only thing I've seen so far has been cinematic trailers. I'm, um, I'm less interested in that. Yeah, and uh, uh, Rockstar in general has has gone the path of subscription service and microtransactions. Oh, God. Man, we'll see. We'll see. So, I haven't heard about anything horrible they're just, doing. Just putting that out there. As they're making their money with GTA it's, Online. It's part of their fucking multiplayer component. It doesn't affect the single player. Then I don't give a good goddamn. Right. Evil Lord David. 
for 19 months in a row. It says, hey guys, David here for 19 months in a row. Hi, David. I'm happy to hear about the D&D, Jack. I think you'll be a great DM. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. Uncle Kulikov says, yay, I like your stuff. Welcome. Thank you. Walt Heisenbeard for 44 motherfucking months in a row says, well, stand up now. Have a good night. You too. AJ Pimpsall. Load them for 17 months in a row. Says 17 months again. I nominate a simple oh wow five years in a row for five years. Just just oh wow. Just oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh. oh wow. So, so it'd be like and load them for oh wow five years <laughs> in a row. That's not bad. <laughs> Good, good night, everybody. What about the last one? We did it. No, Let's we didn't. There's another one. A-A-D-T-Q-K-A. -A -A -A. Oh, my God, Rich. I got your old man eyes. You do? I didn't even see it. You read the name. A-A-D-T-Q-K-A. 